Frida was, she was a great person. She was, you know, very giving and sharing person. And she taught us a lot of things. Like she was very smart too, because she sent me to Alaska to teach. And that's how I did my homework. <laughs> Cause I didn't want to, I just wanted to carve. I didn't want to draw. Cause to get better, you have to be able to draw. And we found out the best drawers are the best carvers. And the best drawers are the best painters and the best designers. So drawing is like the foundation of art. So that's why I really stress it. And she was great at guiding us too with, you know, our life too and helping us and, and not judging us and just, she was like a really good person. That's why we wanted to name the school after her because we didn't want her to be forgotten. And I just felt that she didn't get her full recognition that she should have, you know, because just the way she was. She wasn't pushy, she wasn't, you know, but she was always working. Frida was very important to, to, to the art now because she was, from when she, when she learned the art, she was a teacher. She, she not only taught, but she was very inspirational in directing artists in where they should find and learn their own cultural styles. The art is very important. It's, it's, it connects you to, to the culture because the, the, the art tells, tells you who you are. And, and that's what the, the art was. It, you know, elder artists will say there was no name for art. It, it, it just belonged, it was just part of the who we are, how we live. It, re, it reconnects the, the, the students to their culture because through learning it, they, had, they realize all the things that go with the art is not just learning it, but also culturally connected you have to be. So, so we, we give a bit of art history, but mainly it's the students that go out, as Frida did to Dempsey, they go out and learn who they are and where they come from. Frida came around at a critical time when we were losing our, our art and our culture. And she was the only one that was teaching. So she was like our school. So I was fortunate to meet her. And I was fortunate I was ready too, to learn. She gave us wood and she gave us tools. And she inspired us and she gave us information on how to find out what we want to learn and what was really good art and what was great art. So she gave us a big, you know, boost and uh, it's really important because you don't know, when, when you start, you don't know what you're looking for. You know, you don't even realize what you're into until you really get, start to understand and start to see. And that's what she gave us was that vision, you know, and, and to be able to really see it and she, she really knew how to explain it and show us. And that's where the teaching comes in. The teaching, she was a great teacher. Uh, she was a great human being, too. <laughs> as, as you begin learning it, and you get into to wanting to create art, and to do it proper, you have to, you have to go out and learn the culture. You have to learn the right way of doing things and the respectful way of, of, of being an artist. And, and, the, and the ways of being a professional artist and what you can use as a professional artist and how the art fits in culturally because if it's fitting in culturally there's a lot of protocols that you have to go through to, to create the art in the, in the culture. Art has to come from a history. It has to come from, a, from truth. It has to come from, a, from culture. It can't come from nothing. Because if you do not master your art or your tradition, you're just innovating for the sake of innovation. And that's basically what's happening today. <laughs> because if you do not master the art, it takes a long time. It's very hard to make it work. You could innovate, but it's gotta work too, which means it's gotta be good and it's got to be of quality, and it's got to be real.